there and welcome to a journal flip video. I've been asked a lot lately to show my journals um, as in addition to showing my pages on my blog. So um, this is just one uh, another journal that I'm going to show you. Uh, it's uh, This journal was done with my favorite, uh, the Canson Mixed Media. It's a all journal. I like to work on my pages loose and then add the pages back in. This one was covered with vintage wallpapers and some pa other um, handmade papers, some labels. So I did some stenciling and some stamping on this one. Again, I work in the pa pages on the pages loose and then I add them back in. Um, this particular page, I'm gonna try to zoom in as we go so I can give you some details. Uh, this one uh, is one of the in this particular journal. As we go through it, I added pages randomly. Some of them are newer, some of them are older, and some of the pages aren't finished, but. Uh, this one actually has some uh, fabric flowers on it and then some felt leaves that I stitched and added to it. A lot of stenciling on this, a lot of inking on this. Uh, some of the pages are not finished. The back of this one, not finished, but eventually I'll go back in and I'll finish it. Sometimes I'll do them after they're in the journal or before, and then there's times, I'm asked this question a lot too, I actually take the um, pages and I'll stitch them together back to back and then they become one page and I add them into the journal. So I do that as well. Uh, this particular page was done, some of this page was done with some uh, um, inky paper that I actually glued to the, to the base of the page. Um, this is one of my favorites. And this one, this is inked newspa a newspaper, newsprint. A little bit of stenciling. Lots of ink. Uh, this one uh, is actually done with some hearts that I cut out from paper and I stitched those on. And this is actually um, just a piece of inky paper that was adhered to this. Again, lots of stenciling, some doodling. Um, I cut out some little strips of paper on this one and wrote, I journaled on those strips of paper. Uh, this one here, this is just uh, paper I used where I was inking my, my brushes and tapping off my brushes and I just liked the way it looked so I glued it onto this page. Again, these are unfinished pages I'm not showing you. Again, more stenciling and inking. Now this is an older page. You can see there's quite a difference between the two styles. Uh, this one is, I did several years ago. I'll try to mention dates once I see them, but um, the wording on this one is remove your own obstacles. And I liked the idea of the window, you know, where you're just, you know, being open to seeing things. Um, some stenciling in this, background papers, you, like I said, you, not a lot of inks. You can see quite a difference in my style. And um, here, some stenciling and some inks starting to get into some brighter colors. I used to use a lot of browns. I don't now. And I journaled on this label and then just put a stapled the photo on this one. And some magazine pages, and there's a glare on there and then journaled some stenciling. This one I did some spray painting on. Uh, I was kind of giving that a try. Um, some alphabet stencils, number stencils. Some uh, wallpaper again, more stenciling. It's funny looking back at these, you can see how your styles change when you go back and relook at your journals. Uh, more wallpaper. This one has some more spray paint on it. It's kind of experimenting with that at the time. Uh, this is an unfinished page. This is, I like this page too. And the quote on this one is, look at things how they are, not how you want them to be. Um, this one's unfinished. I just haven't journaled on it. I'll come back to it later, maybe do something with it. Mm. The wording on this says, she said today would be different. Uh, this is a photo of a trellis. There's some ivy growing on. I took that in Charleston. This one's unfinished. Another window. Um, this one's also unfinished. Wow, this one looks very close to finished, but not quite. 
Um, I used an old piece of an old photo on this one, just a piece of it that I cut out and then I just journaled on it. Yeah, this was June 2007. So these pages that I'm showing you here are definitely several years old. Uh, the quote on the, or whatever I wrote on this one, this old, this is another old photograph. This time, like all times, is a very good one if we but know what to do with it. I don't know who said that, but I like it. This one is um, finished. <laughs> I remember writing this. It starts out, I yelled out, I yelled out loud today. Not the kind of soft throaty yell that even makes more of a croak, but the kind that if heard would surely turn heads and have people running to offer assistance. Yeah. And it goes on and on. I remember that was, it's good to get those things out. Uh, May 28th. Yeah. I like to look back and read, see what was going on back there. And then this one reads, always do what you are afraid to do. I always like that quote. More stencils, lots of punchinella here. Some spray painting on that one. Uh, this one's unfinished. And this one, oh, this is a quote that I really like. Uh, when your heart speaks, take good notes. Jay Campbell. I really like that quote. Another finished page. Lots of, I've noticed I used a lot of those old vintage photos in some of these pages. Okay, here's another one that's unfinished. This one here. Um, I really like this background. I haven't really worked on this page because I like the background so much, but eventually I'll get to it. Mm. Yep, 2007. So these are all unfinished. This, I like this one. Did a little, attempted a little doodling on that. Um, just an unfinished background. Um, this is uh, just found text. It reads, I can never go back to it, but I can fly for a little while. Oops, this background looks nice. That one's unfinished as well. Unfinished. Yeah, all of these are unfinished, but so you can see that you can actually just have something that if you don't want to start with the blank page, you just go in and start working. Actually, this is these are family. This is my husband's mother's mom, his great grandma. Yeah. Is that right? Great grandma. Yeah. No, grandma. That's his grandma. Yeah, when she was younger. And I wrote this quote, uh, the generations of living things pass in a short time and like runners, hand on the torch of life. Again, a bunch of unfinished pages, I think is the what's left in this one. Such a contrast between each one when I was, this one's just paper I was working on. So that gives you an idea of one of my journals and what they look like when I actually put them all together back inside the, the coil bound part. But you can really see a difference between, you know, the pages that I'm doing now and stuff I did in 2007. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll be posting some more. I've got some other journals that I'll do some flip videos on. So if you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to ask me. Thanks for watching.